Hey guys, it's me Brittany. Um, I wanted to give you guys some really, 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 really helpful tips. Um, and I can't believe I didn't think about this earlier. But, sorry, crazy hair. Okay. <laughs> I'm rocking the Asian bun. That's on top of the head. I saw that so much when I went to Japan and I thought it was cute. I know mine's really messy though. I didn't even use a mirror. But, anyway, <laughs> uh, that's not related to my story. Um, I was gonna let you guys know about a really good website. Um, it can be for anyone who has a problem and they want to like talk to somebody about it. It's like it's like peer counseling kind of thing. It's really cool. But um, you should absolutely, especially if you have um, depression or disorders or anything, go to depressionforums.org. Which way I go? This one, yeah. <laughs> Depressionforums.org. It is such a good site, um, and I've gotten so much help off that site. And you get these really strong friendships, even though they're just internet based. Um, I'm sure people, since you're on YouTube, you understand that even like YouTube friendships and everything, they can mean the world. Uh, and they're very special. And yeah, if that's a really, really, really good site. It has a million articles forums, there's an online blog, um, and yeah, if you want my name on there, just message me and I'll give you it, but I don't want to put it out for everybody, <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys check that out because it's a really good resource, it's depressionforums.org, um, and it's an international site, so I think everybody can use it, so it's good, um, and what was I going to say? Um, I was going to actually give you guys some music. I was thinking about music this morning. And some music that really helped me through the darkest parts of my depression um, when I was younger. I mean, everyone has different tastes in music. But if you like music that you can really like relate to... Um, and remember, I was like 13, 14, so I might be kind of like teeny bopper <laughs> stuff but anyways um some of them are actually pretty surprising but they're really good like I'd actually say um for being relatable for hard life situations especially like with parents and stuff uh Lindsay Lohan CD is actually amazing um I know a lot of people just write her off because it's Lindsay Lohan but she's actually a really good singer and she's actually um, she writes her music, and she's actually got amazing songs. Um, and I believe, yeah, it's called Raw, A Little More Personal. That's her CD that I'm talking about, and it's so good. Like, I love Black Hole, um, and, oh, it's like a daddy song. I can't remember what it's called, though. Um, hmm. It was all over like MTV and much music and stuff a couple years ago, but it was so good. Um, and Over is a good song too, um, but yeah, she actually has amazing ones. And I loved Avril Lavigne "Under Your Skin" or "Under My Skin." Sorry, um, that is a really, 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 really good CD. Um, Three Days Grace is amazing. Any of their CDs. <laughs> Um, I'm just thinking for like relatable lyrics and really good profound lyrics that actually have such good inspirational messages in them or just able to relate the emotions. Those are really good. Um, I don't know. I would want to say like Taking Back Sunday or something, but they also have really negative lyrics sometimes like really kind of emo and um 
nothing wrong with emo music, but I'm just saying, like, I'm looking for a positive, uplifting. Um, if you're Christian, Starfield is awesome. They're a really good band. Um, even if you're not Christian, they actually don't even talk. They talk about God, of course, but they talk about God as in, like, just you. They just say, like, you are wonderful, and you, even if you listen to it point of, from a point of view of, like, you're thinking of your boyfriend or anything, you can think of it that way, too, so you don't even have to be Christian to listen to it. Um, it's pretty, like, generalized, um, and it's really, really good uplifting music. Um, I don't know, there's so many more, but it's just hard to think of them right off the bat. Um... I think Alanis Morissette's always good. <laughs> we are like angry at people. <laughs> That's always a good one to listen to. Um, to get that out. Um, and also just if you go on the depression forums, I'd really, really, really recommend um starting a blog. You have to put a couple posts before you can start your blog. Like you um there's forums, right? But it's just like you have to do a certain number of replies before you can start your blog. Um, it's not very many, it's like 5 or 10 or something. Um, but if you can use your blog, it is so good because it's like a journal entry, but people respond to it and they're so sweet and so supportive um, and amazing. So, it's awesome. Uh, so I really recommend you guys check that out and if you like, check out the music. If it's not your taste, then I won't be offended. Um, that's just some music I used to listen to. And I still do sometimes. Um, I actually love, I guess it w it depends on what generation you're born in, but of course I was a kid in the 90s growing up, so all the 90s music makes me insanely happy, and every time it comes on the radio, I'm just so excited. <laughs> and yeah, so just music that instantly makes you happy, like dance music, that's always really good too. Um, sometimes you need something that's like kind of deeper and you relate to and sometimes if you're just done with that mood and you're like I want to feel good now um, just go for the happiest music you can think of even if it's like the hamster dance or the train song or something <laughs> or Backstreet Boys go for it dude it's what makes you happy so yeah that's my little message for today and I hope it helps um, I really hope you guys are doing well and Feel free to leave any questions or anything you want addressed in a video or help with in the comments and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye! Mwah.